In this Cinelera tutorial I will show you how to cut video clips in the timeline tracks. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Cinelera. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, this Cinelera version is the GG Infinity and is by far the best version um, of all the other ones. Forget the PPA um, and the CV version. Go for the GG Infinity. It's far superior than anything previous. Um, I've also left a link in the description below on how to install this on your computer, assuming you've got a Linux operating system that is. Okay, so I've brought this clip into the tracks and I want to cut it say at a certain position. So the easiest way to do this is um, you can either resize your uh, view down here, especially if you've got a long uh, clip. This is in this sort of double button here by rolling your middle mouse. Or what I would tend to do is actually use the timeline here to go to the point that I wanted to cut a clip. So let's say I wanted to cut this clip here and move everything at the beginning. Underneath the video tab you'll see a button that says cut and paste editing mode. Left click on this. Place your pointer over the video not above it and then hold down your left mouse button and just drag your mouse to the point where you want to remove. So this part here is the beginning and I want to remove it. Now you can simply pre press X on your keyboard or left click on the split stroke cut button which looks like a scissors. Okay. I'm going to go to another point. Here incidentally I'm using proxy clips if you're wondering why this is so quick. And this time I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over the clip and move it to the right and then I'll use the split cut button here and now I've got a video clip which is cut at the beginning and the end. You can also do this in the middle as well. You could uh, remove a middle section, you could cut your clip as many times as you want. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. It won't go into rendering. Like I said at the beginning, I've already done a beginner's tutorial. So hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.